We are going over the first bridge on Jordan Lake, as you'll see over here to the right. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Uh, sun's out, the rain's left. Um, we're going to see some good sights, maybe get a little sun while we're here. Here is the second bridge over Jordan, which puts us on the main body of the lake, as you can see. Um, it's a really large lake. Uh, they have, I think, well, I'm not quite sure. I don't know how many campsites they have. One, Chipotle Creek, Poplar Point, Vista, uh, Crosswinds. There's four or five over here. I know Poplar Point has the most campgrounds of all of the campsites here. They open all of those, uh, uh, especially like July 4th week. Uh, they open up the whole, I think there's like a thousand or so campgrounds over there. I'm not sure the exact number, but pretty big area. One of the things that we like about the, the Jordan Lake area, each campsite has its own private beach. So unless you're a camper uh, and you have the tag in the window, you can't get to it. Um, but there is public beaches, there's public accesses uh, where you can put your boat in. Uh, you can pay the $6 fee and, um, and swim all day, uh, use all the shelters and the facilities day and things like that. The yeah, the day use, use area. Yeah. You may notice a different hood in the camera this time. And we're actually towing our Rockwood Ultralight Camper with our brand new 2016 uh, GMC Sierra 2500 HD. Um, we'll be doing a review on it as well as the camper, so so stay tuned for those reviews. We're actually sitting here, turning left off of 64 East um, on onto Crosswinds. Um, it's actually on Farrington Drive. Uh, Crosswinds is one of our favorite area campgrounds, and like Yvonne said, there's four or five different areas here to be into. So we'll uh, we'll be down at the uh, check-in here in just.